It's Halloween week and there could be a lot of fright all around. I'm Darren and this is three things you need to know for Monday, October the 30th. China's Evergrande faces a winding up petition today, two years after it defaulted on its debts. The company had been trying to restructure. Assets are said to be around $240 billion and a judge could order all to be liquidated. California regulators have stopped robo-taxis ran by GM Cruise driverless cars. Many police and fire officials said they have been getting in the way during emergencies and are deemed a risk to public safety. You may have noticed that Halloween candy keeps going up as the companies that make them keep escalating the prices. Candy and gum are up around 13% this month compared to last year, after going up 14% the previous year. Haunting hunters may have to be quicker this year as it is likely there will be less treats and I assure more tricks. Trade while you're sleeping across time zones with Arbitrage Trade Assist. Sign up today at arbitragetrade.com. Arbitrage Trade is your trusted source for business, finance, and tech info. To protect her home and family in a disaster, Karen was willing to wade through water, mud, and insurance paperwork. Yeah, I can do this. You go, Karen! By simply understanding and updating what her insurance covers and doesn't cover now, she'll be better prepared no matter when disaster strikes. Learn other simple ways to protect your home and family before a natural disaster at ready.gov. That's ready.gov. A message from FEMA and the Ad Council. Bank Term Funding Program Flies Higher The Bank Term Funding Program, otherwise known as BTFP, is a Federal Reserve Program that provides loans of up to one year to eligible depository institutions. The program was announced in March of 2023 and is due to wind down March of 24. But will it? This entity was created to support American businesses and households by providing additional funding to eligible depository institutions. The program is expected to wind down after one year. Eligible institutions include banks and savings associations, credit unions, U.S. branches or agencies of foreign banks that are eligible for primary credit under the Federal Reserve discount window. Eligible institutions must pledge collateral that the Fed can purchase through its open market operations. And this collateral includes U.S. treasuries, agency debt, mortgage-backed securities issued or fully guaranteed by Jenny May, Fannie Mae, and Freddie Mac. The BTFP charges a higher rate than the discount windows. It values collateral at par rather than on a mark-to-market basis. Loans can be prepaid at any time without penalty. This program is one to watch because it was planned at $25 billion, but last week it was nearing $109 billion, an all-time high. What are the institutions doing with it, and why do they need it? Hey, wouldn't it be great if life came with a remote control? You know, you could hit pause when you needed to, or hit rewind, like that time you knocked down that wasp's nest. Uh Uh-oh. Well, life doesn't always give you time to change the outcome, but pre-diabetes does. With early diagnosis and a few healthy changes, you can stop pre-diabetes before it leads to type 2 diabetes. To learn your risk, take the one-minute test today at doihaveprediabetes.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its pre-diabetes awareness partners. The Pick of the Day! Arbitrage algorithms have signaled a possible uptrend in the future for Flex Shares Discipline Duration MBS Index Funds. Why don't we just say MBSD? It's a Northern Trust ETF that seeks results that correspond generally to the price and yield performance before fees and expenses of the ICE BOA Constrained Duration U.S. Mortgage Backed Securities Index. It closed in 1956 on Friday, 52-week high of $21.05 and a 52-week low of $19.22. Remember, ETFs generally stay within a narrow channel. We are not financial advisors. Please do research. Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC is a privately held research company. Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC is solely responsible for the preparation and distribution of the contents of this podcast. The opinions offered in this podcast are for informational purposes only and are not intended to function as investment advice. Seek a duly licensed professional for investment advice. For more information about the informational research and services offered by Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC, please visit arbitragetrade.com.